Pension. Right. And that's when I shouted news. It's news. Mm. Because government has refused to take care of the elderly. I heard the president talking about respect for the elderly, welfare for the elderly, well-being of senior citizens. But each time they are doing anything good, it becomes news. Mm. Because right. they refuse to take do the needful. If you ask me, I think that is a, is a, even though it's news, but to me it's a shame that um, what is supposed to be a normal thing is not being glamorized and make it look as if it's one, big every, deal. one big deal. I mean, somebody who has put in 35 years in the service should not have any issue collecting what is due to him or her. He shouldn't make news out of it. He shouldn't even be heard that someone who has worked for 35 years who is a senior citizen, well-regarded, well-respected as a senior citizen, is being owed, and then when you wanted to pay, you start making news out of it. And I don't think that is, uh, I don't think that is proper. But that is also that also shows you the kind of leaders we have. And when you look at these civil servants and look at past political leaders, you will discover, you understand why those in the office today are trying to loot as much as possible so that they don't go through what these people are going through. And the, I think the vicious cycle continues. It continues like that. It continues to go on and on and on and on. You know, you know one problem I have with the political system, the political parties, the politicians, and some in the public sector, they look down on civil service. What they fail to understand is the civil service is the nucleus, as often said, the engine room of governance. You can't talk about ministries and parastatals and agencies of government. You cannot talk, talk about governance without the civil service. You know, the, they are the operative force. Yeah. You know, that, that just, for me, that's just on paper. That's just on paper. You know, the problem we have in Nigeria is that um, the offices are defined by the person who occupies those offices. Exactly. That's what we have in Nigeria. The civil service is supposed to be part of the policy formulation of any government, part of policy implementation plan, of any person who occupies any particular, uh, in particular. Yes. So, but the situation whereby the civil service have been reduced to servants. <laughs> they have been reduced to servants. Yes. They only sit down in the office and carry out instruction that has been given out by the supposed Oga. The and politicians. The, yes, supposed Oga. And that is what happens. And when you refuse to follow those instructions, as strong as they may be, there is a whole lot of. Um, um, intimidation, there's a whole lot of um, uh, punishment that is meted out to you legally or illegally by these same politicians. So he discovered that nobody wants to lose his or her job. Nobody wants to get into the wrong books of the, of the co yes. occupier of the, of the office because the mechanism to protect civil servants are not very strong. They are easily manipulated. The politician can manipulate it easily. So he discovered that the politician now take advantage of that situation and undo the, 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 the civil servant. And that is why, at the end of the day, what is due civil servant seem to be imagined? Do you seem to be played down? Yes, if you, if you they look... They are not giving priorities. When it comes to promotion, nobody thinks about them. If you look at politicians, if you look at uh, political office holders, you will discover that they are so, so um, self-centered. For instance, if this place is a government office and, and a GM is appointed, the first thing that the GM would, would think about is that how conducive is his office? The, the, the furniture, the electronics, how conducive are they, are they top notch? If they are top notch, he will just write. If they are not top notch, the, next, the, next, the, next, the first approval he will make is to make sure that his office, in quotes, you need to have a befitting office to enable you to work. And after the office, the next thing is official car. And when you talk about official car, they are not talking about the normal car that average Nigerian can afford. Are you trying yeah. to? Yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm, yes. you know, I'm saying this thing because I have, I, have, I have, in the course of doing the job, yes. I have worked with politicians, I have covered campaigns, I have covered government functionaries, I have seen the difference between political office holders and the civil servants, and of course, ordinary Nigerian. The, the, the gap is too much. Yeah. The 